my home and to my kitchen. I'm Scott, and through this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to create really delicious restaurant quality food for yourself, your family, and your friends. And this afternoon, we're going to be working on key lime pie, and it's delicious. It's really refreshing, it's cool, and it goes great with all your summertime foods. So let's get started. Key lime pie. Everybody loves it, and it's really easy to put together and to serve to your guest. For this recipe, what you'll need is one cup of key lime juice. Key limes, you'll sometimes see them in your produce uh, section of your supermarket. They're much smaller, they're naturally sweeter, and they don't have as much um, acidity as a normal lime would, would have. If you absolutely cannot find key limes, you can use a prepackaged product, but as part of this recipe, you need one tablespoon of uh, key lime zest, which you will have to omit for the, rest, omit for the recipe. So, one cup of the key lime juice, seven egg yolks, one tablespoon of the zest from the key limes, two 15 ounce cans of sweetened condensed milk, one nine inch uh, graham cracker crust, you can either make that yourself or buy it, a heat proof bowl, a whisk, and a thermometer, an instant read thermometer, and a pan with uh, just a small amount of simmering water in the bottom. So to start, what we'll do is we'll take the heat proof bowl, we're going to add the lime juice and the seven egg yolks and that's actually going to cause this pie to thicken. I'm going to give those a quick whisk. So I've gotten the lime juice and the egg yolks uh, combined. I'm going to set this over my simmering water. You don't want that boiling, just simmering. And to this what we're going to do is add our one tablespoon of the lime zest and the two 15 ounce cans of the sweetened condensed milk. So I have all the ingredients in the bowl. I'm gonna whisk this, it's gonna take about six minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna keep checking the temperature and what I want this to come up to is 160 degrees. And that's to ensure that our egg yolks have cooked through um, and that this will set up like a, a nice pie would. So I lied, it's been about 12 minutes and we finally reached 160 degrees. Um, like I said, it's really not about the time, it's more about the temperature. So make sure you invest in one of these uh, instant read thermometers. So once you get it to 160 degrees, we're going to get this off the heat and we're going to pour it into our pie crust. And it will come right to the top. There will be some left over. You can save that for a second pie if you want or do little individual tarts, which are really nice, because that way you can make them, put them in the freezer, and if you have guests, just take them out, let them defrost a little bit, and put some whipped cream on. Okay, for this, what we're going to do is put this in the freezer for three hours until it firms up, gets really nice and cold, um, and then we'll take it out, we'll add the whipped cream to it. The timer just went off, um, so I know it's been three hours. I took the pie out of the freezer, and it's nicely firmed. And with that excess that I had, I took three ramekins and filled those about halfway full. While I was waiting for that to firm up, I took one cup of heavy cream, put that in the bowl of an electric mixer, and gradually added one tablespoon of sugar to it with it on high until it got the cream got really stiff. Then I added it to a um, pastry bag with, fitted with a star tip, a large star tip. And what we're going to do is just come in here and pipe um, little rosettes. We're going to do that all over the top until it's um, completely covered. And just finish this up, I took one of the key limes and cut it into little slices, cut it halfway through and made a little twist. I've done that on the ramekins also. Now we're going to give this a taste because I cannot wait. It's one of my favorite desserts. Gosh, it was creamy and delicious. It's cold, and tart, and sweet, and delicious. So give this recipe a try. It's not hard to get together, and it is perfect on those summer nights when you're looking for a refreshing dessert to go with a nice grilled meal. All right, thanks again for watching. And as always, please feel free to email me at scottmdenver at msn.com. Let me know what you think about the show. And also, let me know if there's any recipe you'd like to see me demonstrate, if you have a favorite that you'd like to see me do here. I'll be happy to. All right, take care. Bye.